Hello, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad that you did. I hope you're all having a great Thursday. Can't believe it. <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday already. Um, I have a little project that I'm doing, and I thought I'd turn on the camera. I know that you've probably all seen this a dozen times, but um, I need to, to wax some flowers for my um, little notebook my travels notebook that I'm working on. I've got all my pieces printed and ready for it to go. For those of you who have not seen it or seen my last few videos, this will be the first one um, in the series um, that I'm working on. Well, not the first video. The first video was last night um, that I put up, which was the, wa uh, the um, paper that I made from the napkins and um, potpourri flowers, the dried flowers. So this is going to be the Traveler's Notebook. I've already cut it out. It also comes with a mini one. It is on sale at Angela Kerr Designs if you're interested. These are actually some of her flowers that I'll be waxing and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And then just a few of the pages that I've put in already. I might be adding some more pages, but um, these are so far, you know, the pages that I've put in it. And um, it's very easy. You just print it, cut it out, and then add, you know, I think it comes with um, the big one and the small one. Two, three, four. I think it comes with five pages. I'm not sure. You know, five full pages. So this is the cover that comes like that and you can decorate it any way you want and then I added you know I backed it with some of her um, different papers that she has and put in some different papers that she has and other kits that I have which this kit right here I love I use it almost in every single journal I make because I love it and then this is her avocado stain paper and then this is her um, polka dot she has polka dot and gingham paper as you can see and then there's a white piece for the center which I'll show you what I'm planning on for that and um, yeah so that's it I know it's very springy and summery but it doesn't matter whatever you make make what makes you happy I know everybody's on Christmas I'm not there yet <laughs> I'm still working in my fall journal which I love um, not making it, I'm actually working in it. So for this project, all you'll need, and I've done this before with shaved wax candles, but I've switched over to the white beeswax. All the beeswax I used to use was yellow and it would turn things like a yellowish color. And I didn't really like that at all. So, um, I changed, um, you know, to the beat to the white beeswax and you can get that on amazon i also had a subscriber named terry she's from rankin studios and she had suggested in the comments you know that piece well if you haven't seen the video it's the one prior to that but i had used tissue paper on this one and unfortunately i waxed it she had suggested waxing it because it wasn't translucent and um not as translucent as the napkins were, which I love the napkins. I think they're beautiful. I love the texture in the napkins and I'll continue, you know, doing that for sure. But you couldn't see any of these flowers really. So she had suggested how about beeswaxing it. And while I had my beeswax out, I did it and it came out beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. You could use this for anything. I mean, you could cut anything out of these and use them so translucent, you know? I mean, for a tag on the back of anything um, or even on top of anything. Let me just grab, let me just grab a tag and show you how pretty that would look as a tag. So say this is your tag and you put this on top, you know, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. I'm also going to run it through my, um, my Sizzix and try to make different, you know, designs and, you know, different things, labels and things like that with it, because I just think it's 
just so pretty. You could even use it as a page in your journal, you know, either a college journal or what have you. I think that is just gorgeous. I'm not going to fold it now because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But, um, or you could even, you know, put it on the front of a journal, you know, front of a tag or I, I just, I love it. I really like it a lot. And the napkin does the same thing. I just like the texture of the napkin for like making pockets and, you know, things like that. Um, like the things I made in yesterday's journal. But you can still see th through that just fine. You wouldn't be able to write on it because it's so textured. So for making things or for, you know, just cutting, just like tearing you know, around it. I'm not going to tear it now because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But like tearing around it and using it in different places is little um anything, you know. So, Terry, thank you for that idea because I love it. I think it came out gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with it. And I just can see me making lots and lots and lots of things with this paper. So, go back a video if you're interested in that. But today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to wax and fussy cut. I love fussy cutting. I, I, I find it very therapeutic. I could take it outside and, and fussy cut all day long. But I like my flowers waxed because it gives it more of like a sticker effect. And let me see if I have. I did start to wax some and then thought I'd turn on the camera. So these, I'll show you the difference before I wax them. And I'm also going to show you what I'm going to do with the napkin. But these have been waxed, as you can see. And this hasn't been waxed. So you can't see through the back. But on these, once you wax them, they come very translucent and so easy to fussy cut. And then they become like stickers. You just put them down with glue stick or whatever you want. So what I'm going to do first, well, since I showed you the flowers, I'll move those over. I also love to fussy cut, or I wax a lot of things. So, um, but use your lightweight paper. Um, I mean, they, any paper comes out fine, but the lightweight paper really comes out really nice. So, all you'll need is some uh, parchment paper, an iron, and some either beeswax or shaved candle wax. You know, the white tapered candles. Just shave them like you would a carrot. And then sprinkle the shaved candle on it if you don't have beeswax. And, um, and an iron. And make sure your surface is covered with an old towel if you're using your ironing board or what have you. I do have a small ironing board in here and I put it up, but it came up too high. I mean, I'd have to raise my camera up so high. So, um, so I'm just using a towel right on my glass mat for the cushion and to keep it, you know, off my mat if it seeps out. So all I do, and I know you've seen this a thousand times, but I'm going to do it anyway, <laughs> because why not? If I'm crafting, I think I'm going to turn on the camera every time I craft because why not? I might inspire somebody that hasn't seen it before. And that's what it's all about for me. Um, it's just, you know, if I can inspire one person by something I've done or said, then my job has been completed. So you only need a few. I think I'm adding too many. I always do. So then you just, you can cut these out first if you wanted to, but they're so much easier to cut out. Um, if you wax them first. So now you just put your other piece of trans, um, now this one is here because the wax will seep through and I don't want it to get on my towel. Okay. So you want two pieces of parchment paper. And then I'm just going to hold it down to kind of melt those wax before I start rubbing it around. I just want to kind of melt them. And this is a craft iron. My husband bought it for me for Christmas last year. It was the only thing I wanted. It was on my list. But on um, on Cyber Monday, he had seen this one. And it was a much better one. So he got me this one for less than the one I wanted. So I was very, very happy. This has three, um, 
this has three, you know, levels of heat. It's got a little stand, you know, to put it in so that you don't have to worry about, you know, melting your desk or wherever you iron. If you do this on an ironing board, make sure you have a table on a towel on your ironing board because that wax will seep out. So I'm just gonna now that my pellets are pretty much melted, I'm just gonna kind of go around it like this and make sure everything gets waxed. Oh, I should have showed you the back. Well, it doesn't matter. You know the back is already. You can't see it. You couldn't see them, these little um, labels. But it's so easy. They look so nice. And you don't have to spend any money on stickers. Uh, you know? And there's so many beautiful digitals out there. You know, if you have a printer, or even if you don't have a printer, you could ask a friend to print them for you or take them to like Staples or what have you. But there's so many things you can wax and, and make. Like I've made my own labels um, with inks, you know, with stamping and permanent ink and done the same exact thing. And they come out so nice. That doesn't look like it's... I'm just going to move this a little bit because it looks like the wax isn't getting all over that one. It isn't. So I'm just going to move this a little bit so that I can get wax covering everything. Okay. So I'm just going to move it a little bit because there's more wax on one side than there is on the other. And it just... I'm just going to pull the wax this way. So it covers everything really well. I hope it's staying in frame. Sorry, I got quiet. <laughs> Concentrating. And then I'll show you how easy it is to cut these once you're done. Oh my goodness, it's so easy. But I'll do the napkin first. It's something I'm going to be using in my journal. I just don't know where I'm going to cut it yet or how I'm going to use it. But I always like to use napkins in my journals. I like to use napkins in everything. I love napkins. You can do this with book page. Um, that looks really nice. You can wax anything. I'm so happy with my paper. I made 10 sheets of it yesterday. Well, I live in Florida, so it wasn't hard. <laughs> it didn't take very long to make them. So they're all in their little plastic folder and ready for me to use in projects. And I have lots of fall flowers as well. So I've got to make up some like fall and Christmas colored potpourri so I can, um, you know, make it look more fall-like. I wish I had some colored leaves. That would be nice. And there you go. So all you do is now take this off, make sure everything's covered with wax, which it is, as you can see. Lay that down and then peel it off. And it dries in just a matter of seconds, but see, this is now the back. And this is the front and they're all done. That's it. So I'll show you the napkin real quick. Here's the napkin I chose. It had four squares. <laughs> and this is my last one. I love these. They're so pretty. Aren't they beautiful? 
I mean, they go in every journal. And they're um, uh, raised, you know, they've been embossed. So they're beautiful napkins. And I have no idea where I got them. So I've used them in so many journals. So same thing, but you want to peel it. So let me just grab some scotch tape. Gosh, it's so beautiful out today. It's a little warm this afternoon, but this morning it was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna, this probably has a couple of layers, so. Yeah, it does. So there's my first one, and of course I'll save it to make more paper or whatever. I, I do a lot of things with napkins. I even print on them, so. Leave that there. And I'm just using a piece of scotch tape to kind of get that edge, and then I'll just peel it off. But because it's embossed, it's a little bit harder to get off. And see that embossing? It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see the embossing, but it's really, really, really pretty. And I'll save that as well because that has a really pretty print on it. It's just got beautiful embossing too, so I can use that. The other one has nice embossing as well. So same thing, napkin, a few of my wax beads. You can get these on Amazon. I mean, I got them local, but you can get them on Amazon. And my bag is so huge. I, I mean, it would fill four of these. So it's in the pantry, because I use beeswax for everything. I wax my furniture with it. It's, it's wonderful, I love beeswax. And it smells so nice. And it feels so good, you know, like as a lotion and things like that. I've made candles with the beeswax. And like I said, I used to purchase it all the time, but um, it was the yellow beeswax. And then I came across white pellets and I thought, ooh. So I picked it up and it wasn't expensive at all. So I'll just put this right back on top. Make sure you put your wax, you know, your wax side down. And typically what I'll do, which I should do, is no wax. That way I know that when I put this back down, this part doesn't have the wax. This part does. Because I'll use this for the rest of the day as I'm waxing. Because I'll wax, you know, I have a lot of fussy cutting to do for Christmas, so I'll probably wax a lot of that as well. So I'm just kind of melting my wax first, my little beads, before I kind of go over it. And I probably use too much again, but it's all right. You don't need that many. You really don't. Especially if there's wax already on your paper and you're using a napkin, you just don't, you don't need it. Like I could put another napkin down here and not put any wax on it, which I'm not going to because I only need one waxed. Um, but I could take this up right now and put something else down and wax it and not have to put any wax on it. Because, you know, it will melt what's on there. And just make sure you have something down to protect your surface, surface because, you know, it does leak out the wax. But it's not messy at all. It doesn't get your hands messy or anything. I'm just spreading this around now, making sure all my wax is melted. Which, like I said, I probably put down, down too much, but it's okay. See this edge here that's I'm just pushing the wax to make sure I have my edges 
and then a lot of things like with these I'll you know fussy cut around and use just this part and then use the edges for other things like washi or what have you okay that's done and you want to make sure you lift your you know lift your image that you're waxing lift it you know right away because you don't want it to stick and if it does stick just um go over it again oh my gosh it's so gorgeous um, it's a little warm still but isn't that beautiful i'll show you the other side Got a little bit of wax up there which you can just trim off and it's still embossed the embossing actually is now raised right up it's still embossed and it's it's you can feel it much much more it's much more prominent if you will since I waxed it there's the back I'll show you the other one so before it was waxed there's the before okay front and back and there's the after, front, and back. Okay, and that's all you have to do when you do napkins. So now let me show you how easy it is to fussy cut something now that it's waxed. I'll just move this over to my table. See, now I turned this over. It would be kind of hard for me to tell in a little while, but I already wrote no wax on that side. And I'll do the same thing with my bottom piece because I'll use this for the rest of the day. Because like I said, the next image I put down, I probably won't have to put down any wax. Most likely I won't. And now I'll just take, and I'll take my scissors and show you how fast and how easy it is now to fussy cut these and how fun they are because now with a little glue stick you now have a transparent sticker without having to peel or what have you it's a little bit hard for me to fussy cut than it used to be because my eyes um you know because of my vision but i'm still fussy cutting away because I just love it. I think it's so therapeutic. But see, it makes that paper nice and strong. And you barely have to touch it. <laughs> and it cuts right through. And it looks so nice when you're done. See? There it is right there. Isn't that pretty? So then... If you want to put it on something, um, say a tag, you can actually see the image now through that if you wanted to. I don't know if you can see that image, but here, we'll do this. Well, so you can see the image right through it. It's beautiful. I love it. I love these. So I did those. Now let me fussy cut a flower and show you how easy that is. Put that over there. Put this back in my ephemera box. And let's take one of my waxed flowers here and show you how easy it is to cut out those. Same thing. When you cut anything like a fussy cut flower or whatever, you basically just move in your paper, not your scissors. So, I'm just going to fussy cut it out to show you how simple it is and how pretty it looks. And you're done. Sorry, I have to keep blinking. I blink like a thousand times a day. And special drops and, oh my goodness, I just, I'm so grateful though. I mean, I could be blind and that would not be good. I'd be miserable. I'm sorry, I have to keep blinking, especially when I'm fussy cutting or like even watching videos, I have to keep blinking 
unless I'm watching them on TV. And I do have a pretty large monitor um, in my craft room, but I can't, it distracts me because um, if I watch a video, so I listen to audiobooks. Or my friend Peggy, oh my gosh, my friend Peggy, you have to visit her channel. Oh my goodness, it is the best. It's called, um, oh, what's it called? Craft and Chat? I think that's it. I'll leave it in the description box below. My friend um, Peggy started a new YouTube channel. It's doing fantastic. She is so creative. It's crazy. And what she is working on right now, I was like, oh my gosh, if I didn't have so many projects to do, I would run out and buy that digital kit because I love it, but I can't. Because if I buy it, I'll print it and I'll start working on it. <laughs> and my other four projects will be left to the wayside. And I can't do that. I've got to get these projects done. Not that I mind doing these projects at all. I love them, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. Her stories are fantastic. I'll leave her, I'll leave a link to her, um, if I can link it. I don't know how to do that. She does. I'm sure she does. But she's great. She is great. She is a, um, she's, she's just wonderful. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. I met her on YouTube. She's one of my subscribers. And um, we have some things in common, which is great. And um, one of the things we have in common is we used to do exchange students, but um, she still does. So I'm a little bit envious of that, but we'll let it go, Peg. <laughs> we'll just let it go. But see how easy it is now to fussy cut something that's waxed and it looks so beautiful in your journal. It really, really makes a difference when, you know, if when the flower is fussy cut, when you go to put it on as a, you know, embellishment or what have you. But I'm just moving the paper. I'm not really moving my scissors at all. And I do like to cut with the larger scissors. I'm so sorry. I have to keep blinking because I can't see. <laughs> this wasn't probably the best idea to fussy cut on camera because I don't have it close enough and I'm blinking a thousand times. <laughs> I'm going to cut my fingers off. But don't, don't move your scissors. Just move your paper and it will fussy cut right out real fast. Especially if it's waxed. Um, because it gives it that like little sturdiness, you know, see so your flowers. You can do this with, like I said, with, um, to fussy cut your book page flowers. I have a ton of them and it's so much easier to fussy cut them because some of them are really, really small, especially in my herb books. So when I do those fussy cuts, I, um, I'll wax the pages first. And it doesn't make it look shiny or anything. It just, it still looks like paper. It's just, you can see through them now. And it makes it more like, I said, a sticker sort of like, and you just use your glue stick. I can't see anymore. I, I really can't see anymore. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, that's already cut out. <laughs> see? Oh Lord. So Peggy has some great stories to tell. She is a fantastic, fantastic um, creator. She makes some really pretty things and um, she's just fun. 
She's so fun. I love hearing her voice now. I feel so much closer to her. She's such a dear friend. And if any of you have YouTube channels, please, I always tell everybody, leave them in the link. You know, say this is my YouTube channel so I can follow you too and be inspired by you as well. Because, I mean, after all, that's where we get a lot of our inspiration. Look how pretty that is. And it didn't take any, hardly any time at all. I mean, if you had full vision, you'd probably do it a lot faster. And if you weren't on camera, you'd do it a lot faster. Now, let me show you what that looks like on something. Let's grab that. See how pretty that looks? And you can see right through it. It's so beautiful. Where's my journal? Oh, I already put it away. Dang it. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find a page of something. Um, I have another napkin here that I'm wax, gonna wax, but I'm just trying to find a piece of paper that doesn't have anything on it. But you can see the blue dots right through that, if that's what you wanted. You know, if that's the look that you wanted, you know, and put it anywhere. You can stack a whole bunch of different flowers together, you know, once it's all fussy cut. But, and it's, you know, still feels like paper. It's just nice. It's really nice. Very pretty. And these will take no time at all. You know, I'll just go along and snip them like this. And then go back and fussy cut them all out. And then I'll put them in my little ephemera box. Well, these will go in my ephemera book because I have a, a book with all my um, labels. And I don't remember, I think these might be Roxy Creations. Um, and they they come larger, but I didn't want them larger because my 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 um my book isn't going to be that big but as you can see it takes no time at all to fussy cut them out and the nice thing about them about them being waxed is that you can see through them so if you put them in like a little cluster or whatever on something you could see underneath them if you wanted to See how pretty that is? It's just so pretty. I love it. And it, like I said, it doesn't feel like wax at all. It feels like paper. It's so pretty. And then where's my napkin now that it's nice and dry? Don't know where I did. Oh, it's right here. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I'm so pleased with it. And like I said, it doesn't, it's not waxy at all. It feels just, I don't know, pretty. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's very sturdy. See? I don't want to tear it, but just in case. <laughs> I got a little bit too much wax here, so I'm just going to, I'm going to heat that. Because I can see a little bit of wax right here, and I don't, I don't want that. And if that happens, just what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a paper towel underneath it, put my parchment paper on top of it, press it down, and the and the paper towel will take that wax away. Or a paper bag. You know, you could do a paper bag as well. If you get too much wax on it, put it between a paper bag or, or um, you know, any kind of packaging or what have you, put it, th put it between two pieces of packaging and go over it and any kind of extra wax that you have on there because I can see that. And that, of course, will bother me. So if you do get extra wax on there, just take some paper. I actually like to use the packaging because it works good, but let me show you something. I'll show you something really quick with paper towel because it works just as well with paper towel as it does with the napkin I mean as it does with well, I cut that too short let's see here do this 
do this and I'll do this and watch. Is my iron still hot? Yeah. So I'm going to go over this now and pick up that wax, that extra wax. See, you can see that there's a lot of wax. I put too many wax beads on there. So if you do do that, if you stay till the end, you'll see that this is how you take off the extra wax. Just go over it with a paper towel or, I mean, packaging is a lot cheaper than paper towel. So, a brown paper bag that works really well, you know, from the grocery store. Um, the brown paper bag works really, really, really well. It just removes all that wax. You know, any extra wax that you don't want on there. So I'll just lift this up, lift this up. And then I'm going to take a piece of this side that's not got wax on it. And I'm just going to kind of go over it, make sure I got it all off, which looks like I did. So yeah, that was really no problem. See? And I got all that extra wax off. I can still feel a little bit here. So I'll probably go over that again real quick. I'll use, I don't know which side has the wax on it. I think it's that one. I definitely used too many wax beads. You only needed probably four. <laughs> I think I put 20. But, like I said, if this ever happens to you and you did get too much wax on there and you don't want that much wax on it, just take it. Now it's fine. It's perfect. It's back to paper. There's no wax on it. And it's translucent. I don't even know what side is. I guess I can feel the, it's, this side is the front. Because I can feel the embossing. But it's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. It's going to look gorgeous in my journal. Okay, well that's about it. It's our flower and some of the little stamps that we've done is one of the tags i'll be using in my journal put that here so you can see how pretty that is and um the napkin and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed your time here i certainly enjoyed visiting with you and until next time be well be kind, be safe, and God bless. Love y'all. Bye-bye.